and welcome to another review here at Total Toy Recon. It is Bob. I'm back. And I am back with Gentle Giant and Diamond Select Toys Star Wars bus. That's right. If you look at our page, we are going to have numerous Star Wars Gentle Giant bus reviews. They sent us a ton of them. And we are thrilled and excited to actually dive into them. And the first one is, I can't believe it, is Lack Srivak. Now, you're going to be like, I'm sure, Bob. You're pronouncing that name wrong. And I could be. Laxavak is from A New Hope. Now, if I'm going to give you a quick little bit of backstory on this character before we get into it. But, I mean, look at this. Awesome. We got a blaster. Oh, and see, this is going to help a little bit. And I'm going to put the image up on screen. So, Laxavak was a member of the Shizatavian species. Okay? Or as I call them, the werewolves. And... This character actually was in A New Hope. He's in the cantina. He is in Chancellor Spaceport Cantina. However, he is removed when they re-released A New Hope. They digitally took him out and put in a character called Ketwal. Okay? Um, a little bit different. He looks like an elephant. He actually has an action figure, as does Lac Saravac. Has an, his own action figure. But, this is the weird part. In this story line and this miniature storyline that we get of Laxavac, he actually meets Dice Ibigon, falls in love with this character, who is force sensitive and a member of the Rebel Alliance, and Lac Sivivac in Legends now, not Canon. Maybe that's maybe it's Canon, I don't know. Now he ends up being a pilot at the Battle of Endor and he flies a B Wing. What more could you want? And now we have a bust of him by Gentle Giant. And there's only 500 of these bad boys in existence. I'd like to point out there's the Disney logo. They never want you to miss it. So 500 of these pieces. Let's open it. Let's find out what's going on here and how cool it is. All right. So we've covered a lot of the Gentle Giant busts lately. They have been supplying you with, as they always do, a baseball card of the character. Tells you that we have 481 of 5,000. And they do these great little books that supply you all the awesomeness that is coming from Gentle Giant. They also have a little questionnaire card. It's very cool. So, don't have any of these yet. So, these are all new. These are milestone busts. This bad boy is beautiful, but it is, it's up there. It's up there. Um, nothing here on the back, but these are the new guys. Now, uh, before we get too into this... It says exclusive 2020. No, I'm going to hold it. It says exclusive 2020. What makes it an exclusive? Well, I'll tell you what makes it an exclusive. It's an exclusive to Gentle Giant. So you can only buy this on the Gentle Giant site. No entertainment earth, no big bad toy store, nothing of the sort. Let's open them up. Now, if you've been following us, I do love to say a lot of the same things when we open these for the first time. First of all, you never throw the box away. You never, ever, ever, ever throw the box away because this adds to the resale value. If that time in your life that it comes to, you're like, you know what? I don't need them anymore. Times are hard. I need to move some stuff. Never throw the box away. Never throw the styrofoam away either, ever ever throw the styrofoam. It goes back in the box. If you're going to keep the box, you must as well keep the styrofoam. We're going to open this up. And here's another little tidbit that I always say. Cut the tape to a point all the way and then stop it. Kind of like the bindings of a book so that you know which way the styrofoam goes and which way your character goes in. Now, certainly I can look back at the video and say, oh, I got to fold it like this. But this helps with putting him back, especially for transportation. Another great reason to keep the package. Now, did I open it up right? Yep. Did not open it upside down. So there he is. Got that little thing right there for his hand. And a little bit of tape. And let's keep this like this. And we're going to pull him out of here. Oh. All right. We're just going to sit there. Sit there, that right there in his really cool awesomeness. Now I'm going to bring him in a little bit closer here. So let's look at this. So a character like Laxerac 
this is what you want in a Star Wars kind of museum style piece. So what makes him so awesome is that you can have a conversation with a friend who may be a Star Wars fan, may not be a Star Wars fan. And you're like, dude, what's with the werewolf guy? And you're like, you don't know that's Laxavac. And especially if it's a millennial, he may have never, or she, I'm sorry, or she has never have seen this character before in Star Wars because George Lucas removed him in the special edition. So now you have even more of a conversation to have. Oh, so this alien species does survive outside of just the movie. He's actually in the cartoon series as well. So please forgive me. I totally forgot his name. So let's get to the bus because that's what you're here for. Not my Star Wars uh, trivia knowledge, which I'm bombing ridiculously. But as we can see right here, with one six scale mini bus, 481, which matches the card. We've got nice little cloth things here that'll keep them from sliding around. We've got great details. Look at all of this right here. All of this is awesome. We have nice material that's that, uh, I'm sorry, material. We have nice texture that gives it that material feeling back here. And just the eyes. Look at those eyes. It gives you that great sense that this is, he's looking at you. And we have blaster details. We have the scopes here on the side. All, look, we have the silver worn in pieces right here. Gives you that lived in Star Wars look. Uh, and feel that was so so unique to Star Wars. Everything else had been new. Nothing had looked used. Um, but again, you know, his tunic alone, you know, we got a button here. We've got it open. We've got sleeves underneath, more character. And look, worn. Very nice. Very nice. So I'll bring him back out here again. And this is a great, you know, it's, it's, it's one sixth scale. So we are clearly looking at... Um, you know, a, a smaller piece. This isn't going to take up a lot of space. Um, you know, we're going to put an action figure here next to this is a 375 figure. That gives you some scale. So you're getting an idea of how big it is. He's not going to take up a lot of space. It's a nice little, you know, you got all your Star Wars books lined up and then you have this guy here on the end kind of hiding just like a boring bookend. Um, but what I do love about this is it's a great conversation starter. He's an awesome character. He's an obscure character. It's an exclusive, so that makes it even more unique and hard to find. Um, and, and it's not something that every Star Wars fan is going to have. Only 500 fans are going to have these. So uh, Lack Servrak, who is on the Gentle Giant website, I will have a link to it here in the article. If you're on YouTube or you're looking at it on um, Instagram, you can definitely find it. Um, you know, on GentleGiant.com, GentleGiantLimited.com. Um, so again, I, I gotta say, thank you so much, Gentle Giant, for sending out this awesome character. Um, he's unique. He's special. It's different. It's not something that you're going to find at every, uh, in every Star Wars fan's house. Uh, now I do have the action figure for him. I do not have the Jedi figure, which they made of the same species of characters, but it's, you know, I, this was a figure I had to have. I mean, he was just, he was so different. He was so unique. And at the time he was actually in the movie and now, well, I've got the other guy too. So, um, Thank you for tuning in here at Total Toy Recon. Like, thank you, Giant, again. It is a fabulous figure. We absolute figure. Mini bust. We absolutely love it. And it is so unique and so cool. And that's what you want out of an exclusive Star Wars item. Thank you.